Hey everyone, it's Loopy Lugs Gaming here. Now welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of Breathage. Now in the last video we managed to get the debugging station, we uh, did all the first tasks so our next task is to get to the evacuation point. Well the evacuation point is 1619 meters away and we are never going to get there with only 75 in uh, oxygen so we need to obviously follow, we need to obviously, I think, just find ways of building stuff up. So we have um, equipment, we've got like a helmet, so we obviously need glass, lead paint, plastic and aluminium. We've got an enhanced spacesuit, so the enhanced spacesuit is the same as the regular spacesuit, except painted with lead paint for greater moral support against radiation. Do not use while pregnant. Now, they did say that over this way there is radiation, so I'm thinking that that might be where the, maybe where the fire part is. I'm not too sure, but I'm sure we'll find out. So, let's go out and do some exploring. We just, we just did some basic exploring around here and stuff like that, so... I will need to explore a bit more over here, I think. Because this is a huge bit over here that we could go down. Let's have a look over here. Obviously, I'm wanting to pick up stuff as I go along. Now, now that we've got uh, the scrapper, we should be able to open these things. I wonder what's in these containers. Oh, sweet, salty package and water. Lovely. What is in this? Honey barrel. <laughs> Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. What was that? A brain cracking game? Oh Jesus Christ. Oh we need a scanner, okay, right. Press the wrong button. Extendo Gamepad, a gamepad from the most popular console. We used to play, oh, sorry, we used to press these buttons for hours until our fingers hurt. These were some good times for sure. We can take both of them, right, okay, right, I better go back. God damn it. I really need to work out how we're going to extend our breathing because this is a nightmare. <sighs> Shit. Oh no, I'm going to lose health again. Oh, get in there. Right, okay. So we got some more little bits and bobs. Let me go in here and drop these off because there's nothing really that we should be keeping other than this metal stuff because we want to make some more scrappers because I've only got 12 left. The durability on these things isn't great. Right, okay, so if I knock this one it should give me well the last time it gave me three I have a big bust and slender legs I want you to know and motivate to save me no thank you I told you bitch I ain't saving you what I just wasted all of that for oh no yeah for one bit of mail damn it damn it Janet oh there's some stuff here. What is this? Alcohol, water, 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 and food. I don't want to pick up that. There's more food. Oh, lovely. Oh, here we go. There's more metal. Is there any more small bits of scrap metal? Oh, God damn it. Oh, you got stuck there. Shit. Right, let's make a couple more of these scrappers because they don't have a lot of durability. Um, equipment, tools, handy scrapper. How do I make the drill? Refined metal, battery and thick electrical tape. Okay. Right, so let's take some food, water. Oh, I keep forgetting I can't drink it there. Right, so that's us full on uh, water and that. Let's put the rest in here. Stuff that we don't need. Put the ice in there. Right, let's go back out. Uh, I'll cut to anything that's uh, good. 
so you're not watching all this uh, random shit that I'm gonna be doing. Right, so there's more containers here. Let me open these bad boys. Oh, there we go. See, I knew that scrapper was going. We need to. We need to do these. Oh shit. See, I knew these scrappers were gonna fucking end up busting. Right, see, that one gave me three. Why did the other one not give me three? Uh, shit, there's the other thing there. So how many, I wonder, am I going to get out of a, one scrapper? Ah, see? Oh no, there's two. So that only gave me two there. Fucking hell, that was rubbish. Right, so, we got 23 in durability. Three, four, five, six. So it takes six to six uh, bits to open it. So six durability to open one, right? That's not so bad. Oh god damn it! I am gonna lose health here now. Oh no, made it. Just right. Let's make some more of these scrappers. <laughs> it's just uh, make a few scrappers. Go out and get more metal. Right, I think three should be enough. That's fine. Right, so let's go out and go and search more uh, to the left here. See what else is in this one. Oh yeah, there's, oh no, hang on. There was containers in here that I wanted to smash open. There we go. Metal, rubber, and a battery. Okay. Where's the other container? There was another one here before. Oh, there is there. So obviously things don't stay in one place because it's in space, so we are going to fly about. So more, that's great. Um, any more containers here? Oh, there's a bit of metal. Oh, and some of that. Get some of that. Get some of that. Oxygen is not unlimited. Yes, I know. You do keep telling me this. Every th every minute of the day. Right, okay. So we have some rubber. That can be made into thick electrical tape. Uh, let's do a couple of refined metal because they are always worthwhile because we need them for certain things now that that's done I'll go and put them in here so that means we got a wee bit of a selection of stuff oh I'm dropping them Jesus Christ I keep forgetting that I wonder if stuff that I drop if that actually stays dropped speaking of that let me save this <laughs> just in case um, so let me op open that again, and then we put... Oh my god, we're running out of space as well. I wonder if, like, you know, you could just kind of drop stuff on the floor and if it stays there. That'd be, that'd be quite funny, you just walk in and there's like, fucking loads of shit all over the place. Right, okay, let's go over here and see what these containers have. Oh, hang on. There was a container over here. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. Now. Be careful with the vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Ha, ha, ha. He used the chicken to put out the electricity. That's funny. Chicken dielectric. Right, let's break open these. Oh, lovely, and that's that one broke. Let's get another one in there in slot one. Oh, shit. More water and a condom. This strange shaped balloon has extra strength. Okay. It's a bit more durable. <laughs> Right, okay, what have we got? We got water, we got some more rubber, and we got rubber. <laughs> Funnily enough. Right, okay, so 
Let's go back out. What's down here? Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Oh, what? Is a murder here? Judging by the broken handle, somebody's body was beaten very hard and painful with it. I wonder which part of the body it was exactly. A hammer covered in blood. The vic it is unlikely that he suffocated from this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Right, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, hang on a second. Oh, my God. So, this has obviously been... We've instigated this, so this is... We have to investigate this area. Okay. Oh, there's a light bulb. Oh, new blueprint, the shears. Okay. What do shears do exactly? Oh, Novichok. Oh, God damn it. That's the poison. That was, uh, Novichok was what they used down in, is it Sal Sal Salisbury? Down south. Crazy. An unknown substance with a suspicious name. Let's open this bad boy and see what we get. Wire, shears, condom. Okay, what we got here? Examine the note. He betrayed our marriage, pervert. Cheater. He deserved it. Oh. Stationary items. Sherlock. Okay, so we did we just the investigation is successfully completed. It is obvious that the victim was poisoned by a Novichok chemical weapon for treason. This is confirmed by the cipher from a note that the female agent lost at the scene of the crime. Some special agency clearly had a hand in this. Ooh. That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> the, you know, in the news it wasn't that long ago that the guy was getting poisoned, wasn't he? <laughs> With Novichok. <laughs> Right, so we have shears now, scissors, sorry, and we've got condoms. Why? I haven't a fucking clue. Tools, so we can now, we got shears, handmade shears from old scissors, and a powerful hydraulic spring hidden in the handle. An extremely pointless tool designed by developers to avoid making complex animation for fingers with normal scissors. So if we get another bit of metal, we can make that. And I take it, is that used for... Oh. One that now... Okay. So let's get some more metal. And I think, see these things here? It's like... Yeah, shears required. So there's like... Um, and I'm sure back here, there is... See these big things here? These mats? I think that when I was above these, I think it said to it that you could do that. Extract rubber. Yeah, so you need shears for them. So we can get some rubber out of them. Right, lovely. So let's get this open. Three bits of metal. Lovely. Let's go and make those shears. Now is there anything else that's... So we've been there. We haven't been over there. Haven't been over there. Or over there. Or there. There's lots of places like... It's all lit up, so I wonder if there are places to go to. Hmm, we shall see. Uh, let's go to tools, and we can make a shears. Lovely. Novichok, I don't need to keep that. I don't need to keep that. Light bulb, an ordinary low voltage incandescent lamp is used shape. Right, okay. Now, so we've got a helmet, I think we. That looks like something for O2. What is that? That's weird. And that looks like some sort of fan or something. That's weird. Right, okay, so. Oh, what is that? That looks like like balloons or something. Right, okay, let's see who what's up there. Largest condom in the world and also an emission of gas most likely out. Excuse you? Ahead. Largest There's condom in the world, the that's suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct oxygen balloon. Okay. What is this that's floating about? 
oxygen candles, okay. Right, what's down here? The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. What's that? Examine the door handle. New blueprint and scanner, okay. So we can break this door open. God damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, Janet. Oh, we're, we're far away now. Shit. What is that thing? Right, come on, Loopy, don't get too distracted now. Let's break open this door. This door's taking ages, so imagine what that is like. Right, what's in here? No mistake here? This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Oh my god, we're in here and it's filled up our oxygen. You must carefully remove the station by removing two screws. Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Oh, so we can create an oxygen station. Right, okay. Anything that we can collect here. Oh, there we are. There's some rubber there. So if I go to put the shears at number two. Ah, see? It means we've got the rubber right. Let's go and put this... Uh, that out, take the wire. Um anything else we could take here? Oh no, god damn it. Right, no. Okay, so let's uh scarper. Right, okay, anything else? So there's an area over there. God it looks like it's far away. That's even further away. Right, let's um let's go back up. See what's that flashing over there? What's all this blue stuff? Toilet detected. Some of our clients. The toilet detected. Ah, dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from Oh my god, a dead hamster. Oh my god, look at that thing. <laughs> I propose to call it Hammond, although this toilet doesn't look like a man robot. It looks like we collected stuff from there. I don't know what it was that we collected there, because it was talking about feces, so... It was like, shit, did we just pick up shit? Right, okay, what have we got here? So we, we got yellowish water made from ordinary water by natural alkalization through the kidneys. Oh, yeah, so that's urine. Oh, shit. Right, let me drop all this stuff here. Because we don't... Well, I'll take some more. Because we don't have much space. So just drop all that there, see. Now, what is this thing? So that's that's the oxygen balloon. So we need that. Oh god, that gives us an extra 25 in oxygen. Lovely. So that's a condom, wire, two plastic, thick like electrical tape. Um, I think I have all of that. Um <laughs> that's a pure mess of it. <laughs> So we can make, oh, an oxygen balloon. Yes. So now we can take that and we can put that here because that was shown on the video. Yes, a hundred. Sasa's got a hundred now. Excellent. Oh, we've got a scanner now and a grabber. So we've got oxygen generator, oxygen candle, alcohol. And an oxygen station. Okay, so a handmade unit with batteries producing oxygen based on hy hydrolysis. It heats up so much that after starting it, it's better not to touch it or dismantle it. The station would have uh, stunk of hydrogen and something else vaguely familiar. If not for the vacuum and your spacesuit. Right, okay. So we can create that. That's quite cool. So I wonder if that just floats and if we could just take oxygen from it then.
Obviously, that's probably what it's going to be. <laughs> Slide the... No. It was the drill. <laughs> I love that. What? Uh, battery. I think I've got battery up here, don't I? I think I've got a few. There we go. We should be able to make the drill now. Should I make another handy grabber? 27, yeah, I'll make another one. How's the shears doing? Shears has got 19. You must try not to eat. Food can be poisoned and water and air. I care. Shut up. Stop. Stop flashing your boobs. <laughs> uh, oh, God damn it. Right, so where was I wanting to go? I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, yes, right. So on this rock here, I noticed that there was... Um, these things when I was uh, searching about for I think we and it says that we needed the drill so so for aluminum typical Americans they want to say aluminum it's aluminium but you know you can't be blamed so we could take these so everything all everything that we make's got durability that's a nightmare man now what else was on here that's Ice. Oh, we don't need to waste it on ice. Is there more aluminum up here? As you Americans call it. Aluminum. Right, so that's exhausted that supply. Right, let's go through here. So we've got the aluminum. Now, and what was that for? Uh, did we need that for uh, this station thing? Aluminum, thick electrical tape, and oxygen candle. So we do have an oxygen candle. Over here, I think there's rubber on this one, isn't it? Or do we use that? I can't remember. It's so funny, isn't it? This thing's just like a set of scissors on a bit of metal. Right, here we go. Extract. Right, so that's three. You see, there's something over there. But I think it's a bit too far away. I think that's where I want to use the um, the air station. But then if I make it there, then I might not make, <laughs> I might not make it back. <laughs> so that's why it might be a good idea to make the station for there. Right, okay, so, objects, stations, there we go. Uh, right, so, we can put that into slot three. If this station doesn't explode, your engineering skills will be reconsidered. I recommend that you investigate the immediate vicinity in search of radiation protective equipment for flying to the evacuation zone. Okay, so we need to use this to get to the evacuation zone. But we can also use it to go here. I see there's a load of stuff over here, looks like. It looks like a mail delivery shuttle. Surely it was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading. Oh, right, okay, so, so we just click on it and it refills our oxygen. Excellent. Got a look at this, right? So let's go and put out that thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right, let's uh, use the thing and pick up this rubber. I mean, I don't know what we're going to use for storage, though. Like, it's going to be a pure nightmare trying to get storage. Right, so, um, where's my scrapper? There's, a, there's containers all about here. Um, oh, these don't take too much, actually. A suitcase. What does that do? A spacious suitcase for every passenger. Oh, I missed it. Uh, 
Um, oh god, is there not another container somewhere? What is that? Underpants. <laughs> A bit of fashionable coloured athletic shorts for bigger guys. For big guys. They can't be worn in the spacesuit because of the built-in waste uh, plumbing system. But if there's suddenly some uh, beach nearby, you will be able to pull off this urine collector. <laughs> uh, we'll leave them there. Oh, achieved and unlocked multi-layered. Okay. I thought it said multiplayer. I was like, what? There's multiplayer in this game? That'd be quite cool though, wouldn't it? Uh, right, there's another container there. I thought there was. So, see this thing here? It says a, a suitcase, a spacious travel suitcase every passenger used to have. The suitcase has no internal compartment, secure lock wheel, retractable handles, or competitors. Now, it says that we could put it to a slot. Now, is this going to be a way that we're going to have storage? Uh, let me put it on the surface here. Right, so open. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. We can put all of this stuff in there. Oh, God damn it. I don't want to do that. What? Right, okay, how do we make more of these? I need to I need to find that out. Suitcase, refined metal times four. Shit. How many did I put in here? Three. So I can make some I can make another one of these and I can make another suitcase for storage. Fantastic. <laughs> Objects suitcase for a container fan fucking tastic right so put that into there and hit number one go to install and I will put it there <laughs> yeah baby right so we could put Oh, press the wrong thing again. I'm sure dropping stuff. Where did that go? Did it go on top? I went on top of it. Look. <laughs> right. Lovely. So I can pick up all this shit from the floor. And then put it all into containers. And maybe even make some more containers. Maybe I can sort all of this stuff out. Well. I think that's what I'm going to do in the next video, or in between videos I might do. Uh, well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video, guys. Uh, if you're liking this video, please let me know in the comments. I'm really enjoying myself playing this. Let me know if you want to see me keep doing these, and also if you want to see me doing it on the Sunday, make sure you let me know in the comments. I'm really enjoying this game so far. Seems like there's a lot to it. Uh, I think I'm going to have to find out how many chapters are to see how long the game will kind of go for. Uh, but it is really interesting me at the moment. I'm I'm liking the whole thing of being out in space and floating about and all that kind. Uh, yeah. So, well, that's where I'm going to leave this video, guys. Remember, if you want to help support the channel, links in the description. There's Patreon. There's uh, my Wraith uh, Energy Drinks. Instant gaming, where you can get cheap uh, PC games as long as well as uh, you know wallet top up. Sorry for your PlayStation or Xbox. Thanks for watching the second video of Breath Edge. If you've liked it, whoosh, high five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember life's a game, so play it well. I'll see you in my next video.